Uh, this is, don't cheat this as something that you should memorize. Really, there's no need to. Okay? Um, these are just the some steps that you can follow to deduce your graph. Later, we will put that into practice. Uh, point number two is usually what I do for the start. Um, I look at all the x-intercepts and become a vertical asymptote. So I divide the graph into sections immediately once I have the vertical asymptotes. Never mind. We look at the... This one doesn't make sense until you look at the questions. Okay? Let's, let's take a look. Yeah, I don't want to see. Too early to see. Okay, now. Okay, uh, let's do this together, okay? Um, the, the answer is here. The answer is here, but I'm not going to show you the answers yet. I'm going to do this together with all of us. Okay, don't copy yet. Okay, don't copy yet. I'm, I, I want you to go through this with me one time so that you can try example 11 on your own. Okay? What I typically do, I will see this point and see this point. Why? Because this is your x-intercept. This is your x-intercept. Remember, when you take 1 divided by 0, you get, a, you get infinity. So that becomes a vertical asymptote. So, just a very rough sketch. I know this becomes like that. I know this becomes like that. Okay, not very nice. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, disappear. Okay? X equals to 3. X equals to a negative 2. So, uh, don't focus on, the, on, on, the, on the, this one. Really focus on what we do one step at a time. The process is more important. Now, then what do we do? Um, I will ask myself, are there any X? Are there any vertical asymptotes here? No right, don't have right, so leave it. So I know it would, the graph will be divided into three sections. One section here, one section here, one section here, and you must have these two vertical asymptotes. I think then we can start to sketch the graph. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's don't do this kind of thing anymore. I will do this section. Look, this whole section is decreasing. So correspondingly, this whole section should be increasing. Follow? And it's decreasing, but it's still in the positive y portion. So I should, my graph should be here. And increasing. There's only one way to sketch this. It's increasing. And you are bounded by this vertical asymptote. It should be like that. No other ways. Follow? And you do a quick check. It's not that bad. You do a quick check. Um, here, at this point, maybe you get a y coordinate that's very big. Here, your y coordinate will be very small. Because 1 divided by a big number, you get a very small number. Okay, I'm going to do this a bit slower. Huh? I, I just want me to make sure everybody get, get this part. Is everybody okay? Not okay. Why not okay? Question? Can I? Because this whole portion is increasing, de oh, sorry, decreasing, so this one should be increasing. Let's settle one section at a time first. Good? Okay, next. Center portion. Center portion is this whole section. Okay? And this whole section is decrease then increase, so this should be increase then decrease. Correct? And Obviously, we have also learned that minimum point becomes maximum point. Decrease, increase, increase, decrease. And this whole portion lies below the x-axis, which means y is negative. y coordinates are negative. Then it should be like here. So there's only one way to do this. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Oops, again. Something like that, okay? Let's be very clear also that, look, um, you have 0, negative 6. So this point should be 0, negative 1 over 6 because it's going to take reciprocal. 
Am I right? And then this maximum point is, is half negative 25 over 4. You take reciprocal of that, you get half negative 4 over 25. Do you follow what I'm saying? Increase, then decrease. Follow? Can? Okay, I, sh I hope you can draw a better graph than me, okay? Okay. Then we look at this last portion. This last portion here. Um, this is increasing, so this should be decreasing. And this is in a positive y, portion, positive y then you should always uh, end up like that. Done. Easy. Okay, if you want to look at a nicer graph, just look here. Can? Okay, good. Okay.